Welcome everyone to the house tour. If you're new here, my name is Maria and I live in the countryside of Norway uh, in this rental home. This is a house on a farm. And we moved here over a year ago, and since then we have been doing quite a lot of changes to it. I live here with my cat and my boyfriend, and we work as artists, a video maker and forager. So yeah, we work a lot from home. It's important that it feels nice in there. I also would like to share a little bit about the history of the house. It's uh, built in 1930. And yeah, I'm gonna share a little bit more about which part of the house are the oldest and uh, what's like built on. But yeah, let's go because we have a lot of things to see. I still remember vividly those first weeks when we moved in here. It was in the summer and it was so beautiful outside and the evenings were so bright and we were just fixing up the house and painting until late, late at night and it was still bright outside. And I just remember feeling so happy because we had kind of taken a leap of faith. We knew that we would be able to rent this house for a year, uh, but we didn't know what would happen after that. But still, we just decided to go for it. And this house was just everything that we wanted. It was the perfect size for the two of us. And it was just so cozy. It was an old house that needed a little bit of love, which I kind of like, honestly. Because then there are some things for me that I can work on, and I really enjoy projects like that. There is something about this house. It's just... There is some really nice energy in here. The rooms are a bit quirky, which I will show you in this video. And it really felt like home almost immediately. When we moved in we didn't really know if we could paint or do anything like that to the house because those changes would of course be permanent and we would have to ask our house owners. But we just kind of liked it the way that it was anyways and we were lucky that we were allowed to do some changes to the house. It just snowballed, actually. We just moved on to the next room and the next room, and throughout the year, we have done so many things to this house. So this is like the entrance door to the house. And we have, we have done like quite a lot of things on the exterior of the house. We have worked quite a bit on this terrace. Uh, and you can see that in another video that I've made a year ago. I will link it down below. And we've also worked a bit on the windows and the roof but I'm not gonna show like the exterior of the house right now because it's not the best season to show those things. So I'm gonna show that maybe in the summer. This is the oldest part of the house. And that's the first part that was built. But then they built this other part of the house later on that you can see. This is the one that is like angled up over me here. So that new part is where the kitchen and the living room is now, but before it used to be all of it in here. Welcome in. So this is the uh, entranceway to the whole, the whole house. I have done a big makeover on this entryway. So you can see that in another video. I'm gonna show you a few things that I did here. I painted the door that's behind me here. And I also built this shoe shelf that is here because um, the other one was so small and we have a lot of shoes. And I used old planks from the barn that our neighbors had torn down many years ago. And yeah, I hung like different things here so that we can have our scarves, our mittens and our uh, hats. Is that what you call it? Beanies. If you see my previous video, you saw maybe that I took out the old plastic floor. The linoleum floor that was here and... Yeah, we have some plans for painting the floor, painting the walls 
Uh, but I'm gonna show that in another video. So, so let's go into this other hallway. So if you saw my previous video, you have seen me uh, fix this hallway. I put down a tile here, a stick on tile, and I painted the doors a little bit. I also painted the door frames, but the pink color on the wall was here before. This hallway, I didn't really explain it that well uh, in my last video, so it's a kind of weird spot to be in because it's the hallway where there are doors to all of the rooms in the house. This is our bedroom. And this door, this is the bathroom that we are going to look at later. And where you are is the other hallway. And this door is the living room. Basically, there are just doors everywhere and it's not so easy to do something about it, this place. You can't really put up any sort of shelving here because the doors will then like slam into them. You can't put down a table or anything, so there is not really uh, that much we can do with it. Uh, other than using it for like decoration, so we have some family pictures on here that we also need to work on a little bit. It's not the prettiest gallery wall. <laughs> uh, but we have actually discussed something, and that is to try and put up like a shelf above here. Because that would be so tall that Bendik would not hit his head on it, and it could be above this door. And that would give us so much more storage space. Because if there's something that we really lack in this house is kind of storage space. We really don't have that much of it. Alright, so I had to change some clothes. I felt like I wasn't really dressed to properly show you around. But now let's go into the living room. To show you guys what kind of style we have because we definitely have a style that's very influenced by the fact that we are on a budget and we want to thrift as much as possible for the planet and yeah so everything in this room is basically thrifted or it was here from before and maybe we upcycled it or we just left it as it was and yeah, we kind of like it, but it's a bit more of a messy style. It doesn't belong to a specific style. Um, and we also really like colors. And that was kind of tricky in here, because this room is painted in a very bright sort of green color. And the color really wants to have other bright colors with it. Maybe like pink and white maybe some sort of grey, uh, but we didn't really want to go with those only bright and soft colors because we felt like the room ended up being very like soft and old-fashioned and calm but we kind of wanted a little bit of energy in here because this is the living room and this is the place where we entertain people, eat our dinners so we've actually been working quite kind of against the color on the wall but not so much that it's uh, frustrating, at least in my opinion, but more like adding some yellow in here, adding some red, some blue. We have some art that's Bendik, that Bendik made and also some art from a friend of mine. Uh, yeah, so we have been working with the colors quite intensely and it's still a work in progress, honestly. But I want to show you uh, some of my highlights in this room and one of them is over here. So this is our like reading nook, kind of. This used to be like the TV uh, area in this room, 
and there was a TV here and there was a sofa here facing the TV but we don't really watch TV in that sense and we don't really need a TV in our room so instead we have a bookshelf that we thrifted uh, when we moved here and we stained that bookshelf and upcycled it a little bit and now it looks kind of nice and this sofa the reason why this is my main highlight isn't necessarily because it's the reading nook but it's actually because this is also our guest bed so this sofa is possible to pull out from here and you will have a big uh, double bed and we got this for free in a nearby town we have been living in small apartments and uh, shared spaces so having actually a guest bed and sort of a guest room is really incredible. One thing that we really want to change in this living room overall is actually this shelf. It's a nice thrift uh, flea market find but we would like to actually make a shelf that maybe covers the whole wall so that we are actually using the space for a better purpose. And we have also thought about doing something on this wall, maybe hanging a mirror or some big art piece. If it was my house I would definitely get a window there and we have been thinking about maybe putting a big shelf across the wall entirely instead of on this wall. I don't know. So if you have any suggestions, then please let us know. This room is the room that gets the most sunlight by far in the whole house because the sun goes up here and it moves along all of these windows and all the way to the kitchen. So that's also why we have so many plants in here because yeah. The plants really enjoy this space, even in the winter when it's very dark. And I have another highlight of this room, and that's actually this area here. This is sort of the entertainment area, so we can sit here and we have this chair. And we also move this table around quite a lot, so if we have guests we move these things so that we can sit close to each other like this. The reason why it's here specifically is actually because this is where the fireplace is. So it's warm to sit here in the winter time and it's very cozy. There are some things with the flow of this room that are a bit tricky, um, but I'm really happy about the placement of this because it, it makes my life so much better in the winter time when I'm cold and I just want to sit by the fireplace with my coffee in the morning. And then that leads us also to the next area of this room that is definitely, I think, my favorite part. Which is this section here that I have painted to match the kitchen. eventually so yeah I just really enjoy this area this is also where we eat and yeah that's also a thing that I would like to change up in the future I would like to have a bigger table I have been thinking about a round table that would be really cool but now let me bring you to the kitchen This kitchen is kind of famous because it's one of my most viewed videos on YouTube. I think it has like 56,000 views now and I used so much time to uh, redo this kitchen. It's kind of crazy. I wonder how much time it takes when you're really making over a kitchen, like changing out everything. That's probably insane. <laughs>
One thing that I did is that I built this kind of countertop across here together with Bendy and that's definitely my highlight of this kitchen now because it's so much more practical than it was before. There was basically no space to actually make food in here. There was just this little thing over here uh, and sometimes you could use the little table that was in the middle here. Uh, but now we have this and it makes making food so much more fun. The one thing that I would have done differently if I had a better budget and also if I wasn't renting this kitchen is that I would have built this in a very different way. So we bought some very cheap planks, uh, tied them together with other planks that are underneath. They are so thin that we needed to have this uh, leg underneath it so that it would be supported. And also this is basically something that you can lift up and just take out. And that's because it's a rental home and we didn't know if we could have made something permanent in here. So we made something that is not permanent, um, but the problem is that there are some cracks in between and the planks are sometimes warping more and more, so the cracks are getting bigger and it's basically kind of hard to clean. I will probably try to fill in these cracks with something, but if I would have had a better budget and it was my kitchen, I would have built uh, I would have bought a big solid countertop and just basically built it into the kitchen. A big thick countertop so that we don't need this for it to be solid. I'm really happy about what it looks like now, but in my head that's always what I'm imagining doing if I have another kitchen like this. Another thing that is my favorite about this room is the colors of the cabinets. And I know it's pretty common these days when you are fixing up your house to change the cabinets entirely and of course if that's necessary then I get that but sometimes it really is enough with just a new color on them uh, so really recommend trying that out if you feel like you need to change up your kitchen just try to paint them and see if that helps because I mean throwing away the cabinet fronts when they are perfectly usable is not necessarily the most environmentally friendly way to make over a house. And the walls in here are now white, which I painted them white, and that's the only room in the house that has white walls. <laughs> and other than that, this kitchen is pretty much the same that it was when I made it over. And if you're curious about all these makeovers that I'm talking about, then I have linked all of the videos down below so you can see them if you want to see the whole process of changing things up. So let me take you to a room that you haven't really been to that much if you've been on my channel, which is the bathroom. So we enter the hallway and there is this small, small bathroom in here. And basically we haven't done that much to it, but the things we have done, I feel like have changed it completely. Because it was kind of a like meh bathroom before, and now I feel like it's a very cozy bathroom. So I built this big wooden structure around the washing machine. It makes the whole room much more cozy and it also, if you, if the washing machine is like shaking when it's washing things, the things on top will not fall off. And these planks were from the shelf that we have in our living room actually. They were at the back of that shelf. So yeah, we reuse them for another purpose. And I put up a shelf here. And that made a big difference because because before we used to have this sort of table-like structure here uh, that we stored a lot of things in, the towels and everything. But it was kind of in the way and it also made the flow of the room like a little bit stagnant. So we had to walk around it. So I decided why not use the tall ceilings and uh, utilize that space instead. So this is an old plank from a barn that was on this farm before. Yeah, and we basically put up the shelf here and I added some hooks on it. The only thing is that I think I will paint it green so it matches with the other shelf. And it would probably be the best if it was a little bit bigger. But we wanted to reuse some wood that was here. So that's the biggest one we could find. 
Another thing that I did in here that made a big difference was I didn't want to paint all of the walls because there is this issue with moisture and the paint needs to work well in the bathroom so I wanted to leave the walls like they, they were because they are the most protected from moisture this way. But I decided I would paint some things in here so I painted the window frame oh, and I also painted these shelves and that whole thing just made such a difference because this green color that we also have in the kitchen really kind of brings out the red tones in this wood so that they don't just look yellow orange and another thing with this bathroom I haven't really asked why it's like this but the sink is very low so I could almost like sit in it you know it's very low we thought it might be because there's been like children here or something but so what we have done is actually to hang a very low mirror here and we also added this chair so it's now possible to sit like this and you can see yourself in the mirror here um, <laughs> which is kind of cozy let me show you some other rooms so welcome to our bedroom So this was the first room that we made over uh, before we even moved in actually. So the thing we did that was great success was painting the walls in here because they were uh, pink before and I wanted something that would feel a little bit calmer so I wanted it to be blue and we just chose a color that we liked and we tried it out. This was kind of in the beginning of our makeover process and we didn't know that much about what we wanted so we basically just chose a color and uh, we went with it but I think it turned out really well and it works with the roof in here and after that we worked the whole room into that color palette so we painted a lot of things white in here like the window frames and this this locker over here and for the people that have followed me for a while, you have probably noticed that we have a new bed. I really love this bed. It's a bit bigger than the one we had before, so we couldn't have it in the corner like we used to. But I actually like it centered like this. It's not perfectly centered in the room, but at least it's centered on these two beams here and underneath the ceiling lamp. So there's some strange like dynamic in this room and it's kind of hard to work with because everything has some sort of door or some sort of cupboard in it so this is for example this wall is where we keep our clothing this is mine it's super messy so just like pretend like you didn't see that uh, yeah so we can't put anything against this wall except for this mirror that we have in the middle here and then over here is a little corner with this door. There's a corner here where we have added some storage. This was here before. So we have kept this. Considering moving this somewhere else or maybe painting it. But I still really like the color of it so I'm not sure. We have a chair here that we have added to be able to sit here and look out at the mountains that you can actually see over here. And it ended up being the bed for our cat, so he sleeps here every night. <laughs> and on this wall we have this big locker, cupboard, wardrobe. Wardrobe is maybe the word. And we've added some storage on top here. And here is also another door. So can't really put anything against this wall either. So basically the whole room is just doors and wardrobes and yeah so it's a bit hard to place things in this room but I feel like we figured it out sort of nice another highlight of this room for me is the carpet we have on the floor here uh, it really draws your eye away from the plastic linoleum floor that is in here the one thing that I feel like we did uh, in the beginning 
that was maybe a bit stupid was that we didn't really think that much about the color we painted on the wall and that was in the beginning of our makeover process so we were still learning and we didn't really know that it's smart to think about it a bit more so it ended up being pretty nice. I really love this color that we have on the wall and we tried two different colors and we went with the brightest one. But the only problem with it is that in the winter time we feel like this room gets very cold. The blue color is actually called, uh, called ice blue. So it's definitely very cold. And the room is physically cold as well because we don't heat this room. So yeah, it feels like not so cozy in here in the winter time. So that's actually why we've started with this yellow um, bed sheets and bed linen. So we've tried to introduce some warmer elements in here that kind of make it a more cozy place to be in the winter time. If I wanted to spend a lot of time working on this room, maybe if this was my house, I would definitely have sanded down the beams and brought for, uh, forward the real wood that's underneath here and yeah, I would have done something else with the ceiling and I think they are really old by the way this is the oldest part of the house and I think these are from the 1800s but now let's move into the last room welcome to my office space as a video maker and plant educator so this is my home office and I am so in love with it this is the first time I've ever had my own office again if you want to see the whole makeover process of this room I have a video link down below of how I made over the whole space I changed out the floors there were carpets here and I painted the whole room it was yellow before and yeah I did a lot of things in here my main highlight of this room is the view from this window because we have the view of the mountains from this particular window. This is the only window in the house except for the little one in the bathroom that is pointing that way. So it's the best view uh, and I can sit there and watch this view while I work, which is super nice. And my second highlight is this beautiful large desk that I have here and I just bought these and I bought this wooden plate and that's it. It's perfect because I have both my computer over here and also I can work from this side if I don't want to work on the computer. Another thing that I did was that I painted these white, the whole section of it. And these are both one thing that I really love about this office and also a thing that I really hate because we really need this storage space for our workshop equipment, but it's so, so messy and cluttered. It's really hard to organize this space because we have too much stuff, I think. So basically, it's just, yeah, it's just a mess. But I'm so happy it, it exists because otherwise, yeah, I don't know where we would put all that stuff. And I also have a shelf over here that I have stained with a brighter color and these are all my plant coloring, yarn, and yeah, a lot of books that I use when I work. So you that have followed me for a while, you have not really seen the corner yet, which is the big problem that I had in my makeover video. And the corner now looks like this. I have this beautiful chair here where I sit and chill. And this lamp is maybe not my favorite thing. I will change that out, maybe hang something, but it works for now, it gives me a bit of reading light in the evenings and I've also added a shelf up here to get some extra storage 
So this is my chill out spot in my office, but it's also actually meant to be a meeting area. So if I have a client over that wants to discuss something, I can put out this chair and we can sit like this with this table in between. And this is a good way to utilize the small space that I have in this office, I think. All right, everyone, that was it. Um, yeah, I hope you liked the video. I hope you enjoyed looking around in my sort of, I don't know what to say, whimsical, kind of eclectic, maybe a little bit messy, <laughs> but also kind of minimalist space. It's a bit of everything. <laughs> Um, and the reason I say that it's minimalist is not really because of the look, but it's actually because we don't have that many things in here that aren't functional. So we don't really put up a lot of decor pieces that we don't use for anything. So yeah, and we're kind of strict about not getting too much stuff in here, even though it might look like we have a lot of stuff. While going through all the footage and editing this video, I have to say there are many things that I would like to change and it gave me a lot of like things in my head to maybe think about. Um, yeah, it's still a work in progress and um, again, this is a rental home, so we are doing what we can uh, with what we have. And we're trying to do something that is reasonable for a rental home, you know, both uh, time-wise and function-wise. But I hope maybe if you are renting then maybe it might be of some inspiration to you that you can actually do a lot of cool things with a rental home and as long as you get some permission to do like a few small things there are uh, yeah you can you can make wonders. If you want to see the changes that I'm gonna make in the future then yeah follow me here. And to everyone that have followed me for a long time, maybe since that uh, kitchen makeover video, I'm really happy that you're still here and really grateful that you're following along. Have a nice week, everyone. I see you in the next one. Bye.